every generation has its great innovators. Da Vinci, Edison, Jobs, men whose contributions have changed the course of technology. Another name that can be added to that list and one which is no stranger to anyone who has not been living under a rock is that of Elon Reeve Musk, a man who today is changing the face of technology, innovation, and creativity. This South African-born Canadian-American business magnate, investor, engineer, and inventor has numerous great innovations to his credit, the impact of which is unimaginable. Here's a brief list of things that Musk has done for this world. Tesla Motors an American manufacturer of electric automobiles, solar panels, and batteries for cars and home power storage. It was founded in 2003 by American entrepreneurs Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpenning and was named after Serbian-American inventor Nikola Tesla. Tesla Motors was formed to develop an electric sports car. Eberhardt was Tesla's chief executive officer and Tarpenning its chief financial officer. Funding for the company was obtained from a variety of sources, most notably PayPal co-founder Elon Musk, who contributed more than $30 million to the new venture and served as chairman of the company, beginning in 2004. In 2008 Tesla Motors released its first car, the completely electric Roadster. In company tests, it achieved 245 miles, 394 kilometers, on a single charge, a range unprecedented for a production electric car. Additional tests showed that its performance was comparable to that of many gasoline-powered sports cars, the Roadster could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4 seconds and could reach a top speed of 125 miles per hour. The lightweight car body was made of carbon fiber. The Roadster produced no tailpipe emissions, as it did not use an internal combustion engine. Tesla Motors found that the car attained efficiency ratings that were equivalent to a gasoline mileage of 135 miles per gallon. The vehicle's electric motor was powered by lithium-ion cells, often used in laptop computer batteries, that could be recharged from a standard electrical outlet. SpaceX The company was formed by entrepreneur Elon Musk in the hopes of revolutionizing the aerospace industry and making affordable spaceflight a reality. The company entered the arena with the Falcon 1 rocket, a two-stage liquid-fueled craft designed to send small satellites into orbit. The Falcon 1 was vastly cheaper to build and operate than its competitors, a field largely populated by spacecraft built by publicly owned and government-funded companies such as Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Part of the rocket's cost-effectiveness was made possible by the SpaceX-developed Merlin engine, a cheaper alternative to those used by other companies. SpaceX also focused on making reusable rockets. The first crewed flight of a Dragon capsule to the ISS launched on May 30, 2020, with astronauts Doug Hurley and Robert Behnken. SpaceX also announced the successor to the Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy, the Super Heavy Starship System, originally called the BFR, Big Falcon Rocket. The Super Heavy first stage would be capable of lifting 100,000 kilograms, 220,000 pounds, to low Earth orbit. The payload would be the Starship, a spacecraft designed for several purposes, including providing fast transportation between cities on Earth and building bases on the Moon and Mars. PayPal the company was originally established by Peter Thiel, Luke Nosek, and Max Lefgen, in December 1998 as Confinity a company that developed security software for handheld devices. It had no success with that business model, however, so switched its focus to a digital wallet. The first version of the PayPal electronic payment system was launched in 1999. In March 2000, Confinity merged with X.com, an online financial services company founded in March 1999 by Elon Musk. Musk was optimistic about the future success of the money transfer business Confinity was developing. Musk and Bill Harris, then president and CEO of X.com, disagreed about the potential future success of the money transfer business and Harris left the company in May 2000. In October of that year, Musk decided that X.com would terminate its other internet banking operations and focus on PayPal. PayPal's services allow people to make financial transactions online by granting the ability to transfer funds electronically between individuals and businesses. Through PayPal, users can send or receive payments for online auctions on websites like eBay, purchase or sell goods and services, or donate money or receive donations. It is not necessary to have a PayPal account to use the company's services. PayPal account users can set currency conversion options in account settings. The PayPal app is available online or at the iTunes App Store and Google Play. One year after acquiring Braintree, PayPal introduced its one-touch service, which allows users to pay with a one-touch option on participating merchants' websites or apps. Hyperloop Musk first mentioned that he was thinking about a concept for a fifth mode of transport, calling it the Hyperloop, in July 2012 at a Pondo Daily event in Santa Monica, California. 
This hypothetical high-speed mode of transportation would have the following characteristics, immunity to weather, collision-free, twice the speed of a plane, low power consumption, and energy storage for 24-hour operations. The name Hyperloop was chosen because it would go in a loop. Musk envisions the more advanced versions will be able to go at hypersonic speed. In May 2013, Musk likened the Hyperloop to a cross between a Concorde and a railgun and an air hockey table. A Hyperloop is a proposed high-speed mass transportation system for both passenger and freight transport. The term was invented to describe the modern open-source project. Hyperloop is described as a sealed tube or system of tubes with low air pressure through which a pod may travel substantially free of air resistance or friction. The Hyperloop could potentially move people or objects at airline speeds while being energy efficient compared with existing high-speed rail systems. This, if implemented, may reduce travel times compared to train and airplane travel over distances of under approximately 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles. The Boring Company It is an American infrastructure and tunnel construction services company founded by Elon Musk. Its current and proposed projects are designed for intra-city, loop, transit systems, although the company has stated that current tunnels are being built so they could support the eventual transition to Hyperloop-based transportation on longer inner-city routes. TBC has completed two tunnels in Las Vegas for loop travel. It has also completed one tunnel for testing Hyperloop and loop travel in Los Angeles County. Other tunnels are in various stages of discussion and planning. Musk cited difficulty with Los Angeles traffic and what he sees as limitations with the current two-dimensional transportation network as his early inspiration for the project. The Boring Company was initially formed as a subsidiary of SpaceX, becoming a separate and fully independent company in 2018. As of December 2018, 90% of the equity was owned by Musk, with 6% held by SpaceX in return for the use of SpaceX resources during the initial startup of the company. Outside investments during 2019 have changed the equity split. Elon Musk announced the existence of the Boring Company in December 2016. By February 2017, the company had begun digging a 30-foot wide, 9 meters, 50-foot long, 15 meters, and 15-foot deep, 4.6 meters, testing trench on the premises of SpaceX's offices in Hawthorne, since construction on its site would not require any permits. When told by employees on a Friday afternoon that it would take at least two weeks to move staff cars in the parking lot and start digging the first hole with the TBC tunneling machine, Musk said, let's get started today and see what's the biggest hole we can dig between now and Sunday afternoon, running 24 hours a day. Later that day, the cars were gone and there was a hole in the ground. The Boring Company was initially formed as a subsidiary of SpaceX before becoming an independent company in 2018. Solar City Corporation One great thing about all of Musk's inventions is that he is always trying to ease the life of users and bring about a change that will not only relax the way things work but will also have several other benefits. Solar City, in the same light, is a project that aims at providing solar power systems in the US and is the second largest in its field. Solar City was a publicly traded company headquartered in Fremont, California that sold and installed solar energy generation systems as well as other related products and services to residential, commercial, and industrial customers. The company was founded on July 4, 2006, by Peter and Lyndon Rive, the cousins of Tesla Inc. CEO Elon Musk. Tesla acquired Solar City in 2016, at a cost of approximately $2.6 billion and reorganized its solar business into Tesla Energy. Solar City heavily focused on door-to-door -door sales of leased systems, where customers would pay no upfront costs, but agree to purchase the power generated by those panels from the company for 20 years. The business model became the most popular in the US and made the company the largest residential solar installer, but gave Solar City over $1.5 billion in debt by the time of the acquisition in 2016 and was criticized by consumer advocates and government regulators. Prior to the acquisition by Tesla, the two companies had a close relationship. Solar City offered free charging to Tesla Roadster owners at its charging stations. Solar City became one of the first installers of Tesla's Powerwall home energy storage batteries, and with Elon Musk serving as the chairman of Solar City. Neuralink Corporation. It is a neurotechnology company developing implantable brain machine interfaces, BMIs, and was founded by Elon Musk and others. The company's headquarters is in the Pioneer Building in San Francisco sharing offices with OpenAI. Neuralink was launched in 2016 and was first publicly reported in March 2017. In April 2017, Neuralink announced that it was aiming to make devices to treat serious brain diseases in the short term, 
with the eventual goal of human enhancement, sometimes called transhumanism. Musk had said his interest in the idea partly stemmed from the science fiction concept of neural lace in the fictional universe in the culture, a series of 10 novels by Ian M. Banks. Musk defined the neural lace as a digital layer above the cortex that would not necessarily imply extensive surgical insertion but ideally an implant through a vein or artery. Musk explained that the long-term goal is to achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence, which he perceives as an existential threat to humanity if it goes unchecked. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video please consider liking it and subscribing to our channel.